Hi everyone, my name is Radu, I'm a second year film production student at the University of Portsmouth. I'm also an international student and uh, today I will show you a few tips and tricks about uh, packing for uni and also what items you might need here and maybe what you might want to leave at home. I know for me personally that uh, packing was a big headache because I came here to the UK by plane and as you know plane uh, baggage limits are a pain mainly because of the weight limits or the size limits of the baggage. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the list. Number one on my list is clothing, and especially warm clothing and windproof clothing. Because here in the UK, and especially in Portsmouth, uh, the wind might catch you off guard. Even if outside it seems like a reasonable temperature, as soon as you go to the beach, uh, you might find it really really cold just because of the wind. So what I would definitely recommend is getting a windbreaker, a quality windbreaker that won't feel the wind passing through in it and for the late autumn um, just get a warm jacket that's also windproof. I wouldn't say bring your whole drawer with you but yeah jackets are definitely a thing to consider and don't come here without one uh, if you want to be warm all the time. You might also want to pack some gloves because um, especially if you're biking like I do uh, you might find your clothes get a little bit frosty. Obviously a few t-shirts that you really really like. And lastly I would say um, get some cozy clothes just for your room because you might find that many houses in the UK are pretty cold during the winter. Even if the radiators kick in, don't expect your room to be 20 plus degrees centigrade. It might get pretty cold. Okay, so my first pro tip for you, um, when you pack clothes, especially t-shirts, don't fold them, but instead roll them up. Uh, this will save quite a bit of space in your baggage. And my second pro tip for packing clothes is get a few vacuum bags. You can find vacuum bags pretty much on any site like Amazon. They aren't really expensive and once you put all your clothes in there and vacuum them up, you might find that uh, you can save really even 50% of space just by having your clothes vacuumed in your baggage. Yeah, definitely a 10 out of 10 tip, vacuum bags. Moving on to the next uh, items on my list, this is your documents, obviously. I'm just saying this to give you a pro tip about documents. Uh, always have a copy of them somewhere else in your baggage, because just in case if you lose your baggage, you won't arrive at your uni uh, here without a copy of a few important documents like your uh, housing confirmation or your exam diploma that gets you in the uni. Number three on my list is get a lot of uh, power adapters like this EU to UK power adapter. The UK has a special type of uh, plug socket and besides that uh, you can't really find adapters like this in the UK really easily or really you can't find them cheaply at all. Here you can't really find them under 6-7 pounds, a quality one. Number four, have some medicine with you uh, just in case of an emergency. Obviously you can easily get uh, medicines uh, like over-the-counter medicines like ibuprofen or uh, paracetamol in the UK but you wouldn't really want to go out uh, and look for pharmacies when you're really really sick. It might also be a good idea to stock up on a few masks. This is because the ongoing COVID pandemic, the rules are always changing. Number five, and this might depend on you and your student accommodation. Bring a mattress cover with you, um, maybe two pillowcases or even a compact duvet or sleeping bag for your first night in here in Portsmouth. Again, this totally depends on you and your baggage limits. Uh, personally, I just packed in there a really compact sleeping bag. Uh, that's got me through the first night's in Portsmouth. But yeah, the pro tip here is just uh, keep in mind that most student accommodations do not offer you bedding. You just have a mattress on a bed and that's it. Number six on my list uh, are personal items. Uh, items that remind you of home because you might feel lonely in here, you might feel homesick. It just might be a good idea to pack a few photos of your family and friends. Uh, an album or just um, something to brighten up the mood maybe in your room, uh, get some posters. Again, this totally depends on you and for me personally it's just that item that I look over on my table and say, oh yeah, this kind of reminds me of home. Number seven is electronics and I will just make a short list of the electronics you might need here. 
Number one, really important, a laptop. For me, uh, personally, I don't like writing notes, so I just take all my notes on my laptop. I also do all my work on a laptop. Obviously, uh, you can borrow laptops from the uni, but it's just better to have your own device and know that everything is there safely. A good set of headphones or earbuds are also a must, for me at least. I always like to listen to music while I go to uni or when I, when I travel. And as a bonus, it's just really easy to travel with uh, headphones or earbuds even on plane. Because you can just put your headphones like this, not in your baggage. Also, together with your laptop, I would strongly advise getting a mouse. Especially if you're doing precision work like uh, video editing, you definitely need a mouse and you can just pack it there, doesn't take a lot of space. Another thing on my electronics list is this camera over here, because I feel like um, this step of uh, going to uni abroad was uh, really important for me and I would like to keep uh, a lot of memories from here. It's not the same when you shoot photos on your phone and your camera, they're two different things in my film production mind. I know many of you might not notice the difference, but for me personally it matters and it's how I store memories through this camera. And last but not least on my electronics list is um, some form of storage device like an external hard drive. You might find that for your course you need to work with large amounts of data like I do in film production um, and the hard drive is just the best, uh, best way to transfer tens of gigabytes of data from a PC to another. I think that you don't need to be over prepared but knowing how to prepare smartly is the best approach. That being said, yeah, these were my pro tips for packing for uni and hopefully uh, the University of Portsmouth and the city of Portsmouth will become your new home soon and you will adapt here really, really nicely.